Give me a Y. Give me a Q. Oh wait, give me a whatever that is right there. Is it, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Here's something I don't normally do. We are hitting our third Goodwill of the day. I say we. I say we, us crazy seniors getting our 40% discount on. Mm -hmm. So um, it was really crazy because I dropped Rachel off at horseback riding, came home to unload the car, and by the time we got unloaded and got back, she was done riding. I didn't even get to see her lesson. I was a little mm -hmm. bummed about that, but that's okay. Uh, dropped her home. She's happy as can be and um, I had to take Carrie home. So hey, this Goodwill is what like five minutes from your house So yes, this is my local. Goodwill. We gotta hit it. So there we go I will just warn you that because of the way that my microphone is set up right now You're probably gonna hear Carrie talking but not hear what she's saying So I'm gonna do my best to repeat what she's saying or put it on the screen uh, where appropriate and then she's gonna also try to get close to the microphone to Speak her mind when necessary. I hope we find another ET today. Another <laughs> ET. <laughs> that references a video from last week. Okay. So, all right, we're gonna get in there, see what we can find. Let's get go get shop, shop done. done. Open, open, open. Okay, we're doing one cart. We're doing what? It's it's. Oh, they're all like yucky. <laughs> I don't like yucky carts. How about that? This one's been here for a while. Let's do one that's been here for a while. There we go. Okay. Lucky cart in hand. All right. Well, let's just start in the Christmas. I don't know. This guy caught caught my eye in his little cloche. He's plastic though. I thought he was glass. I think I was kind of hoping he was glass. Normally this store's music is so loud, but it's, it's reasonable tonight. So I am happy about that. Lots of platters. We got a little, looks like there's a little mousy mouse in here. Oh, it's one of those House of Lloyds kind of ones. Plastic. Kelly doll. Oh, I see a Mickey Mouse. I wish there was a whole, I had a whole box of those at one point. I'm kind of loving that bird though. Oh, he's really cute, but I don't need him. I know. I'm going to be good. We just got lots of stuff at the last two stores. I'm going to try to show some, some discipline. Except for like glass pumpkins that you absolutely cannot pass by. Come on. It's got the stem and everything. Usually the stems get broken by the time they get donated. $9.99, but we get 40% off. So he's going in the cart. What is that? Santa's barbecue? Oh my God, that's adorable. There you go, Santa's barbecue. Oh, he's missing Oh mom. my goodness, poor Santa. I think uh, Santa was cooking a little too close to the fire there. LED light up cling. Well, there's Ooh. something you don't see every day. <laughs> a light up cling. <laughs> Munchies for monsters. Candy Crush. Gosh. <laughs> Were you a Candy Crusher? I did play that for Oh my, I was hooked. I was bad hooked on that game. It's a good thing I gave it up. Too much time. You know, Too good. much time I wasted. I used to make my daughter do the hard levels that I couldn't do. Oh, well, there you go. I was always determined to get through those hard levels. You're cute. Who are you? Holiday home something. I have seen those before. Oh, yeah, they don't excite me. He's cute. Don't eat him though. All right. I see nothing. I see nothing. Books coming out. Dolls, dolls, and more dolls. Oh my goodness. 
And then Sam's Saloon. Oh, they're coasters. <gasps> I love those. $4.99. I will take those. There's an apple. Ooh, this is a sand art candle in a one of those little cactus glasses. But look at the sand art. That's pretty cool. And then there's an elephant trinket dish. You know what? I think I'm going to get him because elephants are really popular. All right, let's see. Anything exciting on the top shelf? New. No. What are you? There's a couple of these. They're like playing soccer. I just don't know. I don't see anything super exciting, except maybe a little Fenton bear with the uh, birthstone. Yeah, $7.99. That's a little, a little more. These sell maybe in like the $20 range. So I'm going to leave him. Had he been a regular tag and not um, red tagged, I would have picked him up because I would have gotten that discount. This looks like an old piece of glass. Um, it looks, I don't know, it's, it's half price too. So this one I am going to pick up. I just uh, unboxed this gypsy doll. She's kind of, kind of fascinating, but uh, I just don't see a lot of value in reselling dolls though yeah she is is she does the box say who she is showstopper yeah she's got all her stuff in here but unfortunately yeah just collector dolls just don't have a market it's sad it is sad that's an interesting bowl See, again, they're getting ready for their red tag sale. So I suspect there's going to be a lot of red tagged goodies here. I'm going to tell you one more thing about dolls. The only dolls that for me were very valuable, Princess Diana dolls. Oh, for sure. And yeah. $100. Yep. Because it's more than just a doll. Oh, there's two. I got two of them now. This makes me happy right there. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. All right. Little, uh, this is that Coco Joe made in, made in Hawaii. What's that? Oh, you want him for $1.99? Minus your, you know, she'll take him. Ooh, I'm looking down at this tile here. Not the, not the hobo guy. He's missing like, his body. He's missing his whole body. <laughs> Edward J. Ron, 1984. But he sat on something, so he's not complete. But this is complete. Look at this fantastic <laughs> dolphin. Let's see if I can see. Oh, it's made for hanging. It's ready for hanging. So $12.99 is more than I'd want to spend, but I get 40% off, so I'll grab that. What is this? It's like a piece of made in USA. It's yeah, it's sandy texture. I know it's that. It's a granite. Yeah. There, there's a name for it that I can't think of right now. They use that to make like aquarium decorations. Mm -hmm. Ah, collector's plates. Oh, more Capitamonte. We keep finding Capitamonte. Let's see. Do they cover up the? Oh, you can kind of see it's there. They're nice, but again, shipping nightmare. So I really don't deal with them. Uh, she's got an interesting face. Actually, who is she? We don't know. She is a heavy resin, but like I was saying, there's good resin and there's bad resin. Oh, there's more of your little cotton ball guys. She bought some of those at another store today. <laughs> kind of like these. They have a nice look to them. But we don't even do candles in our house, so. There's a fish. She found a sheep. <laughs> Actually, those are really popular, those uh, little. Oh, it's clay art. 1998 clay art, $4.99. I think I'll leave that one, though. I think I will. I think I will. 
thinking of this. My daughter has like a lamb theme in the baby's bedroom. Oh, there you but go. I don't... Hazani Pottery. This is signed. Ooh, that, that's not good tape for holding a lid on. And it is chipped, so we'll leave that one. I don't understand this. It's a duck. It's just a duck. He's, he's it's not, a duck. He's not good. This is Sooner Glass. I am not a fan of this, but I know there's a market for it. $9.99. This is about a $20 to $25 piece, I think. I'm going to look that up and verify, but maybe, maybe a little more. Um, I'm just not a fan. It doesn't excite me. I don't, I don't dig it. I don't dig it. Oh, here's a green door. I have, I used a red door in my Christmas decorating. I can't get this one open. Open. Oh, there we go. Oh, this one has little shelves in it. The one I have is like a photo album. I kind of like this. I kind of like this one. It's like your other door. That and that's what I was just saying, except that's a Christmas one with a photo album. And this one is like a little shelf. I don't think I'm going to get it, though. I'm, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be a little good today. Oh, horsey. Why are they, wait. Oh, he's broken. Oh, I see how they, oh, he's broken. Let's see. How broken is he? He's just missing his foot. He's missing a whole foot. Darn it. Right? That's almost heartbreaking. I would have totally picked that up. What is this? Department 56. Village Accessories Elf Treehouse. For how much? 20 bucks, red tag. 20 bucks, red tag. Can't do it. I do love these. I love these so much. I would have like a whole bookshelf of these just to confuse burglars if they came in my house, you know? Go ahead, try to find where the good stuff is. Of course, I'd forget where the good stuff is too. <laughs> I'd be going through going, wait, wait, I know one of these has the thing that I was looking for. Hey. What is this? Balancing kiwis. What are balancing kiwis? What do balancing kiwis do? A game of fun and skills for adults and children. You have to balance. It's kind of like a Jenga kind of a, a thing with kiwis. Why do I like that so much? I, 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 I might have to have that. Because right behind it, I see balancing sheep too. I, that's, that is right up my alley. All right, let's see. What we got? Oh, those are cute elephant bookends, but they're fabric. Not super high end. Wood garlands that say what? What do they say? Happy spring. Happy spring. That's what they say. They say happy spring. I will welcome spring. I want spring. Bring me spring. I'm ready for spring. Give me a Y. Give me a Q. <laughs> oh wait, give me a whatever that is right there. Is it? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, that's a big tankard. What does that say on there? Now, should I try my German? After am Deitzen schon. Hey, don't knock me. Don't knock me, girl. Give me an M. I don't need an M. Ooh, give me some lavender. I do like that. I like, I actually like that a lot. No, I just bought one. I just okay. bought one for my door. Give me an E. e. It's not an exciting E though. Dried flowers. Come on. Yeah. Take it or leave it. Ooh, what are all, they're all ands. And, and, and C. a C. C. <laughs> what else? Oh, look at those bookends. Those are kind of nice. Kind of cheaply made though, because you can see the screws and everything and they're a little beat up. So, nope, nope, nope. We will leave them. They could have been good, but they weren't. What else we got under there? Nope. Nothing good here. This, what is this thing? What is, what is this? What? It's a 
Brachistochrone. What? It's a dolphin. If the price is right, what's the price? Buck ninety nine. Good thing we got forty percent off. Show it to me. There we go. Yeah, he's cute enough to go in. The Oops, he's not focusing. There we go. All right, let's see what's in the metal section today. Ooh, and that speaker is right over my head right now. So I gotta keep, I gotta keep yakking. I'm good as long as I keep yakking. It's all good. We can do it. Look at Carrie's tearing stuff off the shelf over there. Oh, if she says it was somebody else. Likely story, girl. Likely story. Three dollars each. Woo. Yep. Just can't do that much. That's a nice leaf dish. He's only two bucks. I kind of, I kind of like him. He's nice. Ah, let's see what else do we have, y'all. That's kind of a nice piece of silver plate. Twelve ninety nine, though. They know it's a nice piece of silver plate. Three ninety nine for the little rocking horse, though. I don't think he's anything that super special. And he's missing. He's broken. Broken in spots. Gosh, if I don't get a manicure soon, I am going to be very upset. Because my nails just look horrendous. Just real, I don't realize that until I see them on camera. I'm like, ooh, those are some really bad looking nails. You know, I've been down by the horses and stuff. So you can tell. Oh, the little, yeah, the little pictures go on that. Yeah, they're there. All right. Nothing else exciting. I don't, yeah, I don't think I've ever found really anything in all these clear, except mushroom stems. Just nothing really ever that good in the, the clear. But look at this thing. Oh, my goodness. That is quite the piece of art glass right there. You got to have a big space for that really big space for that most people don't so it's a really hard sell pretty color but just a cheap piece of glass this looks like a football <laughs> doesn't it look like a football it's got seams like a football all right where's our treasures where's our treasures carrie They're coming. she says they'll be here she says they'll be here Not, not on this shelf, though. Goodness. Not on this shelf. Not even a succulent for me on this shelf. Carrie's into the ashtrays. Who's that? Sonesta. We don't know Sonesta. It's funny how different people can sell different things. Like, I can't sell an ashtray to save my life. But she sells them down at her market market down in her antique mall booth because that's the customer that comes in there they're looking for some simple little souvenir that they can throw into their suitcase so that works really good oh i know we both said all at the same time like some of these are vintage and cool but i don't think that one is i mean he's cool i just don't think he's vintage all right we are now in clear glasses Whew. And there is a lot of them stacked up on the shelf. So, let's see if anything screams at me. So far, not happening. That's a substantial glass. And that's a substantial glass. No, I'm not seeing anything I do like the cactus stem margarita glasses but they're fairly common oh these are cool these are probably like a pier one or a crate and barrel they're nice I just right now I'm just gonna hold off on that kind of stuff because ah, I should just show you my garage right now I got a little behind but I have a plan Tomorrow is a get it all under control day. What is this? This is hand painted by Elanit 
Olenton, Jerusalem. So the cups are $2 a piece and the pitcher $7.99. That's something I'm gonna look up. So I could find very few of this actually listed and sold. Uh, it would be about a $15 investment for the whole set, but the fact that there's six cups and a pitcher for about $15, I think I'm gonna take a chance on it. All right, and then those are interesting. Almost like they're supposed to be candle holders though and not uh, glasses. They do appear to be hand blown. I know there's a amber one and a green, and they're heavy, like they're heavy glass with a like a silver flecked aventurine in there. You know, I think I think I like those enough to take those home. And then over here we have some more vintage. Oh, they're they're Eger, Egerman Czech Republic Bohemian. <gasps> eight dollars each. They're eight dollars each. Ah, uh, okay. Now I just have to go look and see how are they coming up with $8 each on those. Darn it. Okay, so I can't find a comp anywhere on these. So I'm going to wait and see what happens. Maybe they'll be here when I get back here in another week or two. And they will take that crazy red price off of there after the sale. Because I don't even think anybody's going to pay $4 a piece. They might. They might. I would pay and, four, uh, but I would not. Eight. Yeah, I might as for because it's you're gonna pay twenty four dollars, you know, for the set. I just don't know without a comp, so not gonna take a chance on those. Forty eight. How do you get that? Oh, right now would be six. Yeah, I was saying at half price. Right now they're forty eight. There's no way I would pay that. Oh, it's a dory mug. It's a dory mug with the with the octopus and. He's only $3.99. I'm gonna get him. Alright, let's see. Transferware. This is a this is a polychrome transferware, meaning it's got multiple colors. Nasco Mountain Woodland. That's pretty. What'd you find? It's just oh, Maryland. Maryland. For ten bucks. Nope. Eek. Yeah, you know, it's that they're just they're given a job to do. They're told, you know, we got a we got a red tag sale coming up, so price some stuff up. This is kind of a cool um I think it's Superman, right? It's a Superman. He's kind of cool. Hmm. Is he got, I'm looking to see if he's got multiple superheroes in there. I see the Batman. Yeah, Gotham, Den the Heroes. It's an odd mug. Yeah, it, is cool. it is cool. But it's got the Superman. Oh, it's Batman versus Superman. Dawn of Justice. There we go. That's what it is. $3.99, I think I'll get that. I see kind of a fun M&M mug down here. Look at him. I like him. And he's clean and nice. Uh, he's a 2018. Not super old, but Classic M&M, we'll take him. What are you, oh, what are you finding? Three turn up your bo turn your bogies into boydies, boydies. I want to boydies. slow dance with you. It's a sloth. You. The Stooges. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Unfortunately, it's got the dog's name Bella on there, but. That is funny. Right. Plates, plates, and more plates. And a Jamestown China newer piece. Oh my gosh, I am still waiting on my new butter uh, butter dish from the Hadley Company. It's it's kind of killing me because. I mean, I get it. It takes a while because they hand make it. Like, it's made just for me. But I want it. Is that Tupperware? That is Tupperware. Did somebody put a sticker on there? It looks... I don't know if that's the original sticker. I think it says brown sugar. But I don't know if that is something somebody put on. I think somebody put that on there after. I do really love these containers like no other. That one's... Yeah, it's a little grungy. I'm gonna leave that one. Who makes these? Let's see who you are. 
Studio Nova. Studio Nova. All right, lots of, just kind of some plain, lots of plain stuff. Nothing exciting. Yeah. Lots of dishes, but nothing exciting. All right. One more little shelf and nothing. Nothing. All right. Let's see. They got lots of big plates, big platter, big serving pieces. Definitely don't need any of that. These are cute. Oh, they're fold scrap. Who knew? I did not know. I know now. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh no. And they priced this at 20. <gasps> now this might be worth picking up. I just don't know. You know what? I'm going to look a little harder now. Stand by. All right. I am just not finding the comps that justify spending $20 on this. And I know you're saying, Danny, how come you're not reuniting it with its friend over there? Well, because I'm kind of hoping it doesn't sell and it's here when the price gets more reasonable. I know that sounds a little selfish. It might be, but I'm going with it. <laughs> oh it's not too far away. So if somebody sees it, they can come get it. But look what I did find. Oh, 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 oh. don't be a million dollars. Please don't be a million dollars. It's 10, it's $10. I'm pretty sure that's worth $10. All this blue is so pretty, but again, it's big serving pieces and I see these cute little divided dishes under here. Oh, this one is a Ray Dunn artisan collection. I think Ray Dunn is just done. But look at how cute these guys are. All right, who makes these? They're made in Japan. That's all it says with a little dog symbol. I have to get those. All right. Oh, I either need a bigger kitchen, a bigger house, multiple houses. There's so much stuff I could just love and call my own forever and ever if I had the space. But you know how I like my corn things, but chipped. Chippity chipped. I know, but he's kind of cool. I know, I get it. Oh, if you need him for yours, well, then you just, you go, girl. You get him. She's getting that for herself. These are nice little shakers. Are they, are they sugar shakers? They're too big for salt and pepper. Kind of sweet. They're, um, yeah, I think they're, it's not really big enough for sugar though, but, but who knows? Who knows? Oh, let's see. That's okay. Okay, Carrie. Okay, this is it. We're going to settle it right here. Carrie, what is that? Ribbon candy. Thank you. Everybody was saying that's bacon. No, that's it's candy. not bacon. It is ribbon candy and that with is the an, a, asparagus. And they don't they're not the same maker. You know, one's Fitz and Floyd, one's Japan. Everybody in the comments was saying it's bacon. It's no. It's not. It's a really bad marriage right there. But I give them I give them credit for trying. I do give them credit for trying. All right. Oh, something good come out of here. Something good come out of here. Here's another little piece of candle wick, etched candle wick. Just a little, like the dessert dish. Nope, I'm gonna leave it. It's got friends? Oh, it does have friends. Look at that, okay. You can put the friends together. Whoa! We almost had a casualty. <laughs> I got you, Carrie. I got. She doesn't even realize what that's just almost happened. Oh, that's really scratched. Yeah. I know, but isn't he great? He is great. I have one of those. It is great. Ooh, we got Cocopelli placemats. Five ninety nine for six pieces plus forty percent off. I don't think we're gonna get those guys. 
All right, let's see. A non-stick rib rack. That's kind of cool. We can't use non-stick at our house though. It's totally changed, you know, the way we do everything having all those birds. Which, it's okay. We'll make the sacrifice. It's just weird that we can't even look at the things that you normally would look at for cooking. Because, well, we got birds. Oh, what are these? Pier 1 Christmas doggies. Hold on. I gotta figure out how to get this open so I can see if they're really in there. Here we go. Ooh. Let's see. My goodness, that's quite the uh, wrapping to do. Oh, they are. They're all in here. Yay. Those are coming home with me. Those are coming home with me. $7.99 minus 40%. All right, now we're in the crafty and the mishy mash and the coloring books. A little piece of me wants to start doing some coloring, but I always say that and then I don't get to do it this is all used well it's not all used mixed media black paper i don't think rachel needs that oh 2021 diary someone did not do their 2021 diary actually i i am guilty of that i bought this really cool planner for 2021 and i was unpacking stuff at my house the other day and i found it i completely forgot about it so there you go. I do like these. What year are these? Let's see. It's a little bit of everything planner. Oh, it's got a 2022 in it. Is this like generic able to be used? It might be. No, it's a very specific year because it's got the day on it, but it must be. Yeah, it's 2021. Darn it. So those are really cute. But there is, there is a, what? That mom, that mom hustle. There is a 2022 Star Wars calendar. Ooh. Yeah, right? $5.99 minus 40%. Uh, I'm grabbing that. Golf balls. No golfing in my family. Prismacolor pastels. Those, ooh, those are well used. Well loved. Very well loved. Alphabet art. Ocean life. Oh, they're flashcards for play, room, and display. Cute. So much cute stuff ends up. Oh, clay. Clay oh. and paints and all kinds of goodness for $5.99. Taking that. What do we got under here? Rachel used to do beads too. I've got tons and tons of beads. I think they're in storage because she stopped doing the beading stuff, but all the stuff ended up in storage. So we've got to start going through our storage boxes and getting some stuff donated and cleaned out and move on to new things. She actually likes to paint on this burlap. It makes for really cool paintings, but these are not priced. I wonder how much they would sell them to me for. I'm going to, I'm going to find out. And they've got a whole nother section of Mishy Mash stuff. Let's see. We've got those poker chips. I think they are poker chips. Very generic poker chips. And then dice and poker chips. Oh, Carrie, here's all your playing cards. This is where they have like some of the bathroom stuff. I've actually found some pretty good shampoo on these shelves. Um, so sometimes you can find, like, if it's brand new, never been used, hey, there's nothing wrong with buying it at Goodwill. I will do it. I have done it. Elizabeth Taylor White Diamond. See that? Well, they've got it priced at $30. So they must have looked that one up. But, yeah, if you'd have found that for, like, five, maybe even ten bucks, there's some money in that. All right. Ah, let's see in the bathroom stuff. What have we got? Beauty and Planet? Huh, that sounds interesting. Let's see. 
more like brand new. <laughs> Somebody got it for Christmas and then turned around and donated it. Lots of white elephant gift giving going on out there. All right, let's look over here. We got a Aroma Dream, Dream Sickles. Bonsai water sprinkler. Oh my goodness, that looks fun. Very fun. I can't wait for summer. Who's with me? Who's waiting for summer? Tell me down in the comments. I think I have to get this for when Carrie comes over to uh, come swim in my pool this summer. Oh, I love it. It's only $3.99 <laughs> minus 40%. Ooh, I got a chance where nobody's over by the lamps. It was really crowded over here, so I'll peek over here and see what they've got now. That's a you paint it and make it what you want kind of a little lamp. It is cute. It's those drawers actually work. That is cute. Ah, but nothing exciting enough to purchase today. I did see the crazy green one that she's pointing out to me. All right, we're over furniture and big stuff. It's kind of a nice china cabinet. Oh goodness, see my Goodwill would have this for $25. Not $125, because that's not that good of quality. But you know what? That's why I say every single store runs different. That's why I have favorite stores. The ones that I go to more often than others. Oh, it's missing the actual sewing machine. I was looking to see what the sewing machine was. And it's $40 for the cabinet. I mean, I kind of love this, but it's 60 bucks. What is it? Oh, there's three of them in there. I guess that's not bad, but more than I want to spend. No. Oh. And bicycles, of course, and chairs, and art. Let's go over there. Real quick little jaunt through the art. Family album. Photo albums. I don't even think people... I don't even think people use photo albums anymore. I don't think they do. And you can't sell them either. I have lots of vintage, vintage old albums. Yeah, she's saying you can't sell them either. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, people just don't use them. Everything's digital now. Everything's online. Everything's, you know, not in the hard copy. I have bins and bins of old family photos that I got to figure out what to do with before they all, like, you know, just fade away over time. I know it's a project. It's an it's another project. <laughs> I know I'm trying to get one project done at a time. One at a time. Okay, I don't see anything exciting here. Alright, let's look over here at the bigger art. See if there's anything. Oh okay, there was there was a couple of these the last time I was here and everybody was really upset that I passed them by. So I'll grab the elephant and I'll see if any more of them are here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is how I get in trouble. I can't leave him behind. What does that say? Robert McClintock. It is, oh, maybe I can leave it behind because it's $25. Well, darn it. That was super cute, but I can't, I can't spend 25 on him. If it was for me, I could, but it's for resale, so. Let's see any more baby animals come out come out I can't remember what there was I think there was like a fox and something else super cute but the elephant's pretty desirable ooh that's that's Bay Leah Thoroughbred Farms H Hargrove this looks like something that was done for a specific farm 25 and it's it's not a painting, guys. This is, I don't know if you can see the edge, if it'll focus here. See that edge? That is a print on canvas. Not the same value as a painting. Had that been a painting, I probably would have picked it up. But as a print, it just doesn't have the value. It's a nice little uh, cross stitch. But again, I just don't sell a lot of those. Look at me. I'm using my feet so I can move this stuff all right and it's all gonna fall maybe not gosh darn <laughs> wait that's stuck to there okay now it's not I got it I got it all right come on little animals where oh and oh I'm kind of a sucker for these ocean seagull 
kind of things. This is, this is, let's see, let's turn it around. This one, I do believe is an oil painting. If I could see an edge of paint, but it may not be. No, you know what? I think I'm being fooled. Cause look, ah, I can't see the edge of where the paint is. And that's what you have to see. But I'm not, this is cardboard. I don't like how that's stretched on there. So I think I'm being fooled by that one. I'm not super excited by it now. Let's see, baby animals, baby animals, baby animals. There's no baby animals. I don't want to see urchin, I wanted baby animals. That's okay. Somebody will love the elephant. Somebody will love the elephant. All right. We're coming away with an elephant. That's it. Oh, I don't even I don't even know why I tempt myself looking at this big gargantuan art. Look at that mirror. Look at that. It's got a duck. No. No. Don't even look, Carrie. See? We just torture ourselves. We just torture ourselves. Yeah, it was cool. All right. Let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, I like this little wine cabinet shelves. Oh no, this is this is the upper part of a kitchen cabinet. It is. It is. <laughs> Interesting. Pillows. Let's look at the pillows. Full queen comforter set. Deco dot. Kate's it's Kate Spade. It's Kate Spade. How much is it though? And is it new or is it no, I think it's been stuffed back in there. It is not new. And it, it oh, is it? There it is. Oh, it came from Marshalls. Okay, never mind. If it was new, I'd probably look it up and take a peek, but it's not new. Now, I just bought pillows. I bought brand new pillows at TJ Maxx for my couch. So, I'm aware of what pillows cost. Trust me. They are not cheap, even at, like, discount stores. How much did I spend on pillows, Carrie? $2. Like like about a hundred bucks and I bought five pillows. Yeah, you did. Five. I bought five pillows for about a hundred bucks. But I love them. Now I'm gonna have to show you guys what my pillows look like at the end of this video. So stick around. I'll give you a little sneaky peek. How cute that is. Something's really gonna have to call to me to make it stick. Oh, what'd you find? Oh, it's um it's a Hanukkah. Is it a tablecloth? That's really fantastic. How much is that? And are you going to grab it? She's going to let me grab it. Let me show you. Let me try to show you again so we can get a little screeny shot with the music not like overpowering me. There we go. Oh, look. What does this say right here? 100% cotton. There we go. All right. Let's see. What else do we got here? Woodland creatures. For your safety, we have implemented new standards within our donation centers and yeah. stores. In addition to no touch yeah. donations, nothing exciting there. We got one more chance at the one that says fabrics. I was like going through the one that because it can be anything on this row. You never think it's towels. It's just a lot of towels. So there's no fabrics. They teased me. They fooled me. Just saw Alex at Curiosity. Incorporated just found one of these. Uh, unfortunately, he found his for like six bucks. This one is 20, so I can't pay 20 for uh, Pee Wee, but I just think that's funny that he found one at a Goodwill up in Canada. Maybe it wasn't a Goodwill, it was a thrift store. And then I just found this guy. I found a Pac Man. It's a red Pac Man, which I don't mind. It's Pac Man Battle Royale. I've got to pick up Pac-Man. I'm a Pac-Man kind of girl. $2.99. All right, because we have Easter coming, and this guy is new with tags. He is the original Peter Rabbit, 2007. $4.99, I get 40% off, but I'm gonna grab him. Okay, this is just so sneak and appropriate since I just reached my speed limit of 55. I am gonna get this cute little Serta sheep for $2.99. And they found me a squishy mallow, a little squishy mallow for $5.99 minus 40%, putting him in the cart. All right, so there's my cart. I don't even know if I showed buying the, I think I did show the Darth Vader. 
I think I snuck like maybe one or two things in here that were for personal. This is full of uh, journaling supplies and of course it's got birds on it. So Rachel's gonna get that. And I snuck a little, a little plush peeps. Uh, $1.99 minus 40%. Snuck that in there. And then I think you might have seen me get the clay. I think, no, nope, I think you saw everything else. So we are going to go check out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That was a little exhausting. Uh, three in one day. I, I know. Tired. I know I'm some tired. of you pros out there that jam in these stores and go. <sighs> we like looking at everything so much. Yeah, I gotta look at everything. Yeah. I think though too, like, I'm not just shopping. Like, just shopping. I'm thinking about everything and what I'm gonna say about it and researching so I can give you guys information. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this is my job. This is my job. So. It is a little more exhausting than if I were just shopping. just going and shopping. Right. Like that is my dream is to have somebody else managing the camera so that I can just do that. So I can just shop and say it and blah 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 blah. <laughs> That's my dream. Love it. That's my dream. But we got some good stuff. We put some things back. Put back the tablecloth because they were charging twelve ninety nine for it, and put back the little cork board things that they what did she say like 2.99 two or 3.99 each yeah and i was like mm, no 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 i mean no yeah they're probably worth that for somebody who wants to use them for that purpose for but for me as buying as like a canvas to paint on it's used it's not new and you know i can probably go to like hobby lobby and get it you know for 2.99 so dollar tree or yeah or there's that who knows yeah who knows so anyway, had to put a few, and you had to put... I put a gravy boat back. She put the gravy boat back. I don't even know if you saw her pick up the gravy boat. Yeah. It was really pretty, and it was but, big, because yeah. I like a bigger gravy boat, but it was a no-name brand, Yeah. and they were trying to say $9.99. $9.99. I'm like, no. So at this Goodwill does a little wonky pricing, so you, you know. It, You're bougie. And that's why I have my Goodwills that 
you know, are just like the Goodwills that I can depend on, the pricing's right. And by that, so a good example is that that store we went to in the last video, yes, there were things there that were there before and there are things that only a reseller is going to buy. And if only the reseller is going to buy them, they've got to be priced for the reseller. I mean, that is just a fact of retail life. So what they're going to end up doing is it will either sell maybe for half price when that color turns to half price, or it'll sell for a dollar when that color turns to a dollar, or it'll end up at the bins and probably, you know, be damaged. And at that point, nobody wants it. So that's like where I'm like, they, if they could just fine tune that pricing and understand that they can get a better price right now, here today, rather than have to half price it or sell it for a dollar. So I get it. It's probably a tough thing to work out, but it's frustrating when some stores have it worked out and then others don't because you know it's possible. You know there's some stores doing really good because they've got it figured out. But anyway, I am sure I will get many comments now saying how, how dare I want them to price things so that I can make tons of profit. But you have to remember, the resellers are their demographic of shoppers. You know, the stuff that I'm buying is not what someone who is low income is coming in here to find. I'm not taking anything away from the low income people. But also remember that a lot of low income people are also trying to resell and make money. So it's not a mutually exclusive. Uh, you know, single moms. I'm a single mom. I'm doing this to put a roof over my kids' heads. So it's not like I'm not worthy of being able to find things that I can make money with. I'm semi-retired. You you are? Yeah, semi-retired. And this is my income. I don't have a full-time job anymore except for what I do with Danny. And then just, my, this was always my little side gig that I just did to make some extra money. So uh, I don't have to ask my husband because I like being independent as well. Well, we like you being independent. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I just want to say that because I know the comments are going to pour in every time I talk about pricing. So, um, with that, we're out of here. We're tired. Maybe I'm rambling. I probably am. So, with that, you go be profitable and make, make it, it fun. fun. What's the finger pointing? I don't know. <laughs>